Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim. Today, for a product review, we're gonna review the Kobach 45 pound silicone coated magnetic gun mount. You probably already seen me install a similar magnetic gun mount in my mom's car. It was just a small round one to hold her uh, M&P shield. Well, these are from Kobach, I got two of them. And they're 45 pound, they'll hold up to 45 pounds of gun and they're rubberized, they're silicone coated so they'll protect the finish on your gun. Uh, they've got the two-sided sticky with a, the already applied to the ma ma magnetic mounts and we're going to install one in our F-250 King Ranch behind us. And we're going to install the other one in my Durango SRT. You all know how difficult it is. You're, you get in your vehicle and you're concealed carrying, you've got it in the, in the waistband holster or, or, or a belt holster, and you sit down in the seat and it, your gun is kind of jamming up on you. Now on a King Ranch, we've got a big seat, so it's a little more comfortable, but it, you know, when you're really concealed, it kind of you feel that pressure on your hip there. Of course, when you want to draw when you're in the vehicle, we'll show you how that works. Now in my SRT, you know, it has them racing bucket seats that uh, bolsters around your, your hips to keep you in place carrying concealed while you're driving an SRT vehicle uh, is very, very difficult. It, it, it is not comfortable at all. And of course, retrieving your weapon is almost impossible in a timely manner. We're in our F-250 here. And again, these are pretty big seats, but you can imagine if the, uh, if the doors close and I've got to retrieve my firearm, I've got to pull back here, you know, and it's, 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 it's difficult. Now imagine if you had a snap and of course with the door closed, that much more difficult. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this. Now I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna mount mine in the SRT over here. Starla's right-handed, so I'm gonna, this is, she drives the uh, F-250. I'm gonna mount hers on the right side, so that way when she's driving and she needs a, a firearm, she just reaches down here, grabs it, and uses it. Again, safety on, finger not touching the trigger. You gotta be careful with firearm safety, everybody. Before we make the application, I wanna clean the surface very well with some alcohol and I've got some lint-free wipes. So now we want to apply our 45 pound magnetic mount to our surface. So get the arrangement I want. I just gotta peel off the plastic. Very simple. Get, grab a hold of the red. Once you get a hold of the red, I'm just gonna peel it off like this. And that's really sticky stuff. So you wanna make sure you get it right the first time. Once we have the sticky back off and we've determined where we want to put it, we're going to put it side mount here. We're going to have the gun side mount like this so she can just easily pull it off. And that's tight. So we're going to mount that right to the side here. So I have to push it on nice and smooth and straight. Again, I cleaned it, cleaned off the surface. I'm going to push on there, let it have a really good solid hold. All across the tape. There we go. All right, so now I can put the gun on there. And as I'm driving and uh, I get pulled over or something happens, someone comes up as I'm getting in the car, I can reach right down here and the gun is, is really handy. However you wanna set that, boom, it's right there, really handy. That is nice and holds really nice and tight. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this thing in four wheel drive mode and we're gonna ride out in the back property and see if I can bump that off real quick. How about that? Here we are with our Dodge Durango SRT with the 392 Hemi in it. And you'd think before I made this video, I would have washed it, got it all pretty for you, but uh, I got way too many things to do, but we are gonna get this gun mount put in there. All right, I found a place I'm gonna mount it. I'm gonna mount it on the inside sideways like Starla has in her truck. Uh, I think I like that, that feature better. I'm gonna get that cleaned off there, get all the, uh, any oils off with the alcohol here. Let that dry. There we go. Let that dry. Now we're gonna peel off the sticky back, just like we did in the F-250. And now that I've got this where I want that mounted, I'm just going to uh, put that on there. Flat, flush surfaced. There we go. I'll push real hard, get it real nice and tight. Oh, and it fell right off. Unfortunately, I can't get to stick to any of the surfaces here on the SRT. Um, I'm kind of upset about that because I figured it would stick to any, any surface. That's a real, real sticky material. Um, and you can, 
It does come with hardware to drill and mount. So you could drill and mount um, inside your plastic surfaces. That's how I did my mom's car. I drilled holes and mounted it. I am not going to drill holes on my SRT. So I think I'm going to switch it over to the Kubota. We'll put it in the Kubota and that way I can have the, the handgun um, mounted in the Kubota while we're out riding. Well, now we're on the Kubota X1140 and uh, I found a place I want to put it in here and I, you know, I carry a handgun on the uh, side by side all the time. So uh, let's mount this and see if it sticks better here. a nice secure mount oh yeah that's holding real well like it did in the f-250 so the the leatherized surface does not stick well but uh, this is smooth plastic it does stick well and of course I can hold it like that or you can turn it sideways that's a pretty stiff magnet hold that on there bang bang come back off I like that let's give it a ride and see what happens all right, I got our uh, Smith & Wesson 380 uh, mounted here in the Kubota side-by-side. -side. You see, I've got it mounted like this, and it's about as precariously mounted as I can put it. You know, I could put it sideways, and it'd be a lot more secure, but I, I want to see what it's going to do. I want to see what it's going to do in this position. So let's go out and have some fun. See, the only thing it did is when I did that last curve, it, it, uh, it laid. See how it's, it's magnetic and it swings either way? But it, it, it held. It held. So boom, boom. Just like that. So if I pull it back, fire it, fires just fine. Boom. We're back in the F-250. This is a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. Let's uh, put this thing to the test. Let me get out the get out the firearm here we go mount it sideways on there and hopefully I'm gonna put it up a little bit high so y'all can see it there there we go of course the bottom of this one's plastic and the top's all metal but you can see it sticking out the sticking out the top there all right guys we're gonna go on the back property and uh, hit some bumps Let's see if we can get this thing dislodge and see how easy it is to draw when needed you know for personal protection of course we'd never shoot an animal from a moving vehicle but if an animal attacks us out on the streets, we will, we will defend ourselves to the fullest. All right, oh, big old bump right here, okay. I'm gonna hit this thing hard. All right, a big old bump, ooh, okay. Camera's over there bouncing around. There's the pond. You can see the pond over there. That gun is staying still. Of course, we're gonna go down the hole here. Oh, we're going sideways. Oh, we're going sideways. Hope the camera don't flip. I got the truck is sideways, everybody. This is really I mean. Okay, we're going to turn back on the, the hill here. All right. Here's some bumps right here. Let's see what happens in these bumps. Oof. Oof. Mm. All right. Okay, the gun is holding. Big old bumps. Four wheel drive. All right, bumps. All right, now we're going to go down the hills over here. Y'all can see the bees over there again. Oh, we're sideways. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, we'll pull back around. 
pull back around. Alright. Now we're gonna simulate someone accosting the truck. Say my truck breaks down. Oh, you hear yo, something happened to the truck. Breaks down. Engine's off. Okay, I'm looking. And uh, someone comes up to the window. Hey dude, I'm good. I'm good. No, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Threat has been eliminated. It held nicely. It's uh, I mean, it, it did its job, and uh, I really like it. So, uh, threat's been eliminated. Pieces in the world. Welcome back. Uh, let's get this gun put up here. And we'll talk about our, the results of our test. So, we uh, mounted the uh, Kobach magnetic gun mount in our F-250. Took it out in the back property, and uh, the gun held held tightly. We tried mounting the gun in our Durango SRT, but the leatherized plastic, uh, the tape would not stick very well. We could have used the hardware and it would have been just fine. I'm not drilling holes in any of my vehicles that I have here, except for maybe the side-by-side -side or whatever. But since I did have the plastic already undone, I put it on the side-by-side -side and you saw we drove around the side-by-side, -side, around the pond, and it held firm even with putting it on as, the, as precarious as we could. So it held pretty good. So I like that. So, I'm disappointed I didn't get it in my Durango, but that's really no fault of the sticky. Uh, just doesn't like sticking to that type of material. I could probably swap it out with another 3M type tape. Would have worked. Probably worked for you as well. I enjoyed testing out this product today. Uh, anytime I can shoot guns, it's always a good thing. Anytime I can drive a side-by-side -side out on the back property, it's a good day. And anytime I can drive that F-250 of Starla's, it's a good day. If you like that product, I'm going to put the Amazon link in the description so you can get one for yourself. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up and uh, ring the notification bell to be notified anytime new videos come out. Of course, I hope you're already subscribed to Ridge Life. If not, make sure you subscribe. So until next time, hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life.